Hi, I'm Jordan Claire Robbins, and this is my five things I wish someone told me before I became an actor. Number one, it is essential to have a self-care and spirituality practice and to prioritize this practice. Um, in my 20s, I did not have such a practice, or at least the first half of my 20s, and I was very anxious and did not feel safe in my body. Um, when I got into acting, I felt less safe in my body because there's so much uncertainty and so much rejection. Um, and once I learned to create that practice, create that container for myself, I realized um, what a gift it was. And it is more important than ever before now. Um, I rely on it heavily when I don't meditate and you know lean into all the tools that I've learned help me the most. Um, I really feel a difference. I feel disconnected from myself and I feel anxious and I feel out of surrender and my work suffers too. So definitely important. Find a practice that works for you, whether it's meditations, affirmations, um, finding the videos and the teachers and all those things that make you feel really connected to a greater power and connected to yourself. Um, super important and I cannot uh, be an actor without it. Number two is know your worth and be kind to yourself. I am still learning this one. Uh, it took me a long time to figure out that my worth was not defined by my accomplishments. I beat myself up a lot. I tried to be perfect a lot, big time perfectionist. Um, it wasn't until I booked the Umbrella Academy that I realized that no amount of success would make me feel worthy um, and that I needed to really love myself in order to uh, step out into the world as my best self and to feel worthy. It needed to come from within. So. Once I figured that out and started to heal those beliefs that I wasn't good enough, I started to be a lot kinder to myself. I stopped trying to be perfect. And as a result, I really feel like my work got better too. So know your worth, know that you are amazing. Do not doubt yourself and be kind to yourself. Number three is celebrate the wins no matter how small and take the power back in whatever ways you can. Um, it is easier than ever before to create on your own terms. We do not need to wait to be chosen for a role to create and to be creative. Um, so that's the first thing is just get out there and create, get practice, create with your friends. It's all available to you. You don't need to sit around and wait for the phone to ring. Um, and the second thing is um, empowering yourself by celebrating the wins along the way. The win might be getting through an audition without dropping a line or being really connected to the reader or breathing or having fun. That is a really big one. Um, so celebrate those wins. If you get a call back, that's a win. If you get an audition, that's a win. We can really boost our self-esteem and our confidence um, and our love for it by celebrating ourselves along the way because I don't feel like I celebrated myself enough and um, we can't focus on where we wanna go. We have to look at what we've accomplished so far. Number four is do not compare yourself to others. This took me a while to learn. Um, I think we are all guilty of it. Um, we are only human. We can't help if we're not where we want to be and we're noticing other people are and it's really easy to compare and feel jealous and envious and all of that jealousy and resentment is really toxic and it doesn't actually make us feel empowered. It doesn't make us feel good about ourselves and we don't really want to be that person. I learned that through a friend who shared with me that every time she booked a role, because she was booking a lot and I wasn't booking, she could tell in my face that I was struggling with it. Um, and I really had to go inward and, and check in with the fact that I didn't want to be that person. I wanted to be the girl that was actually truly supportive of the people around her. Um, I'm really grateful to her for sharing that with me because it gave me the opportunity to step up, be the person I wanted to be, and to start celebrating people around me. The people around you are winning, you are winning too. It is a sign you're in the right place and you're gonna feel so much better if you're truly happy for everyone and your day is coming too. And finally, number five, lean into who you are and never chase or force. Ugh, big one for me. I have always been a big time forcer slash chaser. Um, it took me a while to learn that the best things in life actually come to you when you're just relaxing. The more relaxed you can be, the more you can enjoy the process and be playful and be yourself fully, the more you're magnetic, the more you're drawing things in and the more fun you're having. So when I figured that out, still figuring it out, um, it was a game changer for me because it made my work better. It allowed me to have more fun, to bring myself in more, which in turn opened up more possibilities and opportunities for me. And it allowed me just to trust that um, I'm powerful and, and that I don't need to force things to happen for me. They're gonna happen for me on their own. So be who you are fully. Let the world see who you are. People are gonna love you. It's way more magnetic. And trust that things are coming to you without forcing. You do not need to force. 
Thank you for watching. I am Jordan Claire Robbins and I hope you enjoyed my five things I wish someone told me before I became an actor.